two, three. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle and Megan there videotaping. Howdy. Today we are removing our, I'm not even really sure what they are. They're a bribery, a Japanese bribery. I think there's different varieties, but they're the pokey thorny boogers and we don't want to deal with them anymore because the builders didn't do that great of a job with the weed mat. So we have a lot of weeds in there and we want to put something else here. So we're going to do a no edit video on what it takes to remove just one bush. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You don't need a leaf blower, but I'm gonna try and blow the leaves real quick just to kind of clear up the bottom. And then I'm gonna start using my hand shears to remove some of the branches. And I'll show you that here in a second. You get the pause button. Okay. Little... All right, so we got the Ego leaf blower here. I'm just gonna try and I'm not gonna get rid of all of them probably, but just to show you. So then you get your uh, your mat for your knees if you want, and uh, we both got these gloves today. They're a uh, they're a bare knuckles heavy duty. I'll put a link in the description. Honestly, I've got poked in my shirt and my pants, but I haven't had nothing go through my gloves yet. So these things are lifesavers. Um, there's a couple ways you can do it. Ours are probably, this house is four years old, so the roots, I don't know how if they're shallow or deep, but it's only a four-year-old bush, so use that as a gauge when you're doing your project. Um, they're pretty easy to get out. I've actually done it by myself with the shovel and just grabbing the rootstock and then my foot on the shovel, prying it up. So one person can do it. It's easier with two though. And so you don't have to trim the entire bush if you don't want to. So I'm just gonna show you kind of like the half trim method with the shovel and hopefully it'll come out. And you can watch how I am doing this and honestly I'm grabbing the the branches with the thorns and I watch this probably the first time I get stung or what do you call it stuck <laughs> but I'm really not careful and I'm getting poked in my shirt so if you want to wear a nice thick shirt to help prevent that you can not really a, an issue though because these are kind of I think juvenile plants and so the thorns aren't super long or beefy But the whole point of this is you want to get some clearance for your hand tools to get in here and clear out the rock because we have rock. And in order to get the shovel down there, I need to get the rock out. So I just want to open up the bottom of the bushes. Um, do be careful and try to make large cuts so you're not missing any potential branches down the road and your dog or you or somebody is gardening and you step on it or grab it and get poked. So I'm taking these large cuts, putting these in the trash can. Get right closer. What do you think? Looks good. Look in there, yeah, pretty good. Again, the biggest thing is just clearing out the bottom for your hand tools, which is gonna be my savior right there. What do you call that thing? I have no idea. Hand, a hand rake, a hand trowel, a hand, I don't know what that is, but I'll find out what the name is and I'll put a link in the description and then the Fel the Felco number 11s are awesome too by the way these things mom got them for me thanks mom had them for a couple of years now I've never I just cleaned the blade with some light sandpaper and some oil and it's definitely maintained its sharpness all right so let's just go ahead and see if I can get this thing in here if I have to trim more I will but I have weed mat so I'm only using the pokey ends to try and just get in between the branches and then once I pretty much got that, I'm just gonna use the flat end to get the rocks out. And we don't know what we're doing with this after we're done, so I don't really care. I'm gonna redo the weed mat, so I'm not concerned with damaging the weed mat. So if you are concerned, uh, just be careful you don't poke holes in it. This is really good. It's thick. It's, I wouldn't say it was done well as far as how they did it, but. The weed mat itself is very thick, so I'm not really putting holes in it unless I swing real hard at it. So I think that's pretty much it. And then I can get my shovel in here. See if I can do it by myself. So you just videotape the, the good stuff. <laughs> Got a really nice uh, cobalt steel shovel here. And it is, what is today? Almost the end of February. It's like the 
forward to fit. So the ground's still kind of frozen-ish, but I think over here we have a low spot. So any snow we had recently melted and probably kind of freed up the ground to be pretty loose. I'm just wearing tennis shoes and I haven't even got stuck yet. So that's cool. All right, so let's see if I can do it with just, there we go. Nice. So that's it. So you can see how, I mean, there's lots of roots down there, but they're really thin and they break easily. And uh, this thing's coming out of dormancy too. So that might be uh, a part of it, have some play in how easy it was to remove. But honestly, that was easy. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you got any questions, let me know if you um, got any recommendations for these bad boys. Also let us know so other people can see. Thanks so much.